welcome to my channel and thank you so much for joining me today. Welcome to a new series here on my channel. We are going to start a what to wear on a cruise series. Um, I have had a ton of requests for this type of video, so I'm finally bringing it to you. Um, I would like to start our cruise series, our what to wear on a cruise series with footwear. One of the most important parts of what you wear on a cruise, any vacation really, is what you put on your feet. And I know that sounds silly, but on a ship, you do a lot of walking in port. On excursions, you do a lot of walking. Now this specific video, we're gonna talk more about what you would wear on the ship. What you're gonna wear into port on your feet, that video is coming up very soon. It will be in this cruise vlog series. This particular video, we're gonna discuss what we would be wearing on a Caribbean cruise, mostly on the ship, but I am gonna give you one piece of footwear for a Canadian cruise or an Alaskan cruise or a cold or cool weather cruise, just so we can kind of cover a little bit of everything outside of beach ports and things like that um, in this video. So thank you so much for joining me. If you're new, my name is Favor. I am a travel vlogger, home vlogger, a lifestyle vlogger, and now fashion vlogger. <laughs> So I wanted to show you some pieces, some clothing, and some shoes that I will wear on cruises. And after 24 cruises, I'm pretty secure in what needs to be on my feet and on my body. So I wanted to style these things for you and show you the, the shoes. I want to thank Dream Paris for reaching out to me and offering to collaborate with me on this video. I have purchased Dream Paris shoes before in the past and I really enjoyed them, so I was really excited when they reached out. I had this video and this uh, plan in mind and some of my Dream Paris shoes were going to be in the video and then they just happened to reach out to me, which was outstanding. So you guys, they have an incredible offer for you. I'm gonna read it here so I make sure that I have it 100% correct but if you head on over to the Dream Paris website, you will use my coupon code, FAVOR. So do me a favor and go head on over to Dream Paris and check out the shoes. <laughs> and use my coupon code, FAVOR, uh, at checkout. And you will get 30% off your order within 30 days of this video. So within a month of this video, you'll get 30% off. After that, if, this, if you're watching this after that, you'll get 15% off. So... I'm really excited about that. You guys, 30% off is pretty significant, especially if you're buying more than one pair of shoes. Now, the best part is if you spend $50, you will get two to five day shipping. Their shipping is really fast. It really is quite fast. Um, I received my items quite quickly. Um, and it's, uh, so it's US $50. You are likely to get free shipping even after using my 30% off coupon code when you order two pair. So there you go, so that's awesome. Um, and uh, I'm gonna leave everything I show you linked down in the description box from the clothing that I'm wearing and also alternatives. So just because I like a specific style of shoe, you can take my points, my tips on what kind of footwear to wear and head on over to the Dream Paris website where you will find a plethora of choices. So I'm gonna give you just right off the top some key things that are extremely important in footwear on a cruise. One, stability. You wanna make sure you're not slipping and sliding all over the place, okay? I don't recommend flip-flops. I have never recommended flip-flops for a cruise. Listen, it's seriously, your feet slide around in them, you can fall. There are slippery surfaces on a cruise ship. Please, please avoid the flip-flops on a cruise, okay? I know they're cute a lot of times, but they're just not stable, okay? Last thing you wanna do is slip on your vacation. Another thing that I suggest is wear your shoes well before you're going to go on your vacation. So a couple of weeks, three weeks before you go, put those shoes on your feet, go where you're gonna get hot and sweaty, wear your shoes when your feet get hot. I know it sounds so silly, your feet swell when they get warm, gross, I know, but it's a fact of life and you don't want to have to deal with blisters on your trip, you just don't. But if you happen to get a blister, if you happen to have a pair of shoes that just didn't sit right that day, I'm gonna leave for you down in the description box a couple of little hacks, a little couple of things that I use and come with me on every vacation. I have them in my camper, I have them in my purse, 
I, uh, yes, I'm gonna leave it linked for you. So make sure you check that out. Uh, that way, if you do happen to have a blister, you're covered. Or if you do happen to have a pair of shoes that maybe just hits that pinky toe a little uncomfortably, this will help you with that. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna try and be as quick as I can. I am long-winded, but I'm gonna try really hard to be super fast for you. Let's go. First off, I always recommend a good pair of sneakers. Sometimes there are activities around the ship that require closed-toed shoes, and when you're traveling to and from the ship for embarkation on the airplane, I really recommend a good, comfortable, lightweight pair of sneakers. We're gonna start off by styling this cute little pair of low wedge espadrille. These are nice and stable and secure as you're walking around the ship with a nice rubber sole. They secure around the ankle so you're not slipping and sliding all over the place and the low heel makes them extra comfortable. This first outfit is a nice lightweight crepey material dress. These shoes look so cute with this dress. You could take this dress from day to evening, throw a shawl on if you happen to get a little chilly, and it's great when you're on the outside decks. Don't forget my little trick of wearing little bicycle shorts underneath your dresses and skirts, just in case a wild gust of wind comes along. See how pretty these shoes are? Nice neutral color, they go with everything. You can wear them with many, many different things, making them very versatile. They could be the only pair of sandals you bring for your entire cruise. Next we have this cute dress, this is from Target, nice knit dress with a sweet pink kimono to match it. In case you happen to get cool, again with the shorts underneath the dress, I will leave them linked for you. You could wear this kimono wrapped around tied up in the front if you'd like, and again it goes perfectly with the espadrilles. You can take the kimono off and carry it, or you can leave it in the cabin. Next we have a pair of shorts and a crepey little top. Nothing really wrinkles. You can see the espadrilles go great with this outfit as well. These are a very versatile pair of shoes. You can wear them with short dresses, long dresses, a pair of shorts, even with a nice linen pair of pants. Next we have a pair of mules, buckle pointed toe flat mules. These are a very versatile shoe. Again, you can wear them with dresses, you can wear them with pants, you could even wear them with a nice pair of joggers to dress up any outfit. They're comfortable, stable, and secure walking around the ship. I did size up a half size in these just to give a little extra room, but here you can see I've got them with a great pair of linen pants and a tank top, again with the shorts and the same tank top. You could take this from day to evening. You could wear a white tank top and black shorts. Again, I've got it here with a kimono just in case you happen to get a little chilly. This is my favorite type of sandal for a cruise. It's secured around the ankle. There is a strap over the toe, nice thick sole on the shoe, very comfortable to wear all day long, plenty of breathing room for your feet. You can wear it with shorts in that same white tank top, nice and versatile. Again, we have a kimono here just in case we happen to get chilly, but these shoes are nice and stable. Running up and down the stairs, walking across the pool deck, on any of the decks around the ship, you'll be nice and comfortable in these shoes. I always make sure the ankle straps are comfortable before I wear them anywhere. This kimono looks really cute with a pair of denim shorts. This is a great outfit for wearing inside and outside around the decks on the ship. Here, if you're more comfortable with a dress, this dress is super cute with the pin tuck up at the top. It's a short dress, but it still has pockets. I'll leave several of these linked for you. Again, the espadrilles would look really cute with this dress as well, but these sandals are just as comfortable if you prefer a flat sandal. You can also wear these sandals into port on a day where maybe you're just going to the beach or you're just doing a little bit of walking. They're that comfortable. The sole is quite squishy and comfortable. And here again, with the kimono, just in case you happen to get a little chilly. And just so you can see, here's my little trick, bike shorts under a skirt. 
I'll leave these linked for you. I try and find something as close to flesh tone as possible. And here, if you happen to get a little chilly during the day or around the ship or even in the port, this lightweight open weave sweater is perfect. Huh, a little klutzy. I will leave this linked for you, but you see it has a very open weave. I've got a tank top underneath, a little cami underneath. It's very, very comfortable. Looks very, very nice, but still nice and cool if you happen to go outside. Here's another option for Elegant Night. These beautiful, sparkly, ankle wrap, chunky pump rhinestone sandals are so cute, and you see they come in a plethora of colors. This type of shoe is extremely comfortable for me to wear around the ship. I did want to throw this dress in for you. This is a very inexpensive dress from Amazon with the wedges. It looks so, so pretty. You could also wear any of the wedge, ankle strap, rhinestone, sandals with it as well. This is a look for elegant night. This is a knit dress, nice and comfortable, easy to wear, inexpensive, that you can wear for elegant night. Don't have to be over the top and super fancy, but you can. Now, if you prefer not to wear a dress and prefer pants, this look also here on the right is nice and comfortable with a nice pair of slim-legged pants, high-waisted, sort of, these aren't fully high-waisted, and a peplum top with the beautiful rhinestone wedge shoes perfect what a beautiful way to go to, on to elegant night into the dining room and be extra comfortable after dinner a show in the evening very very comfortable and of course you can bring a shawl with you if you happen to run cold and of course we have to twirl and for those cooler weather ports, a good, nice pair of Chelsea ankle boots is a great thing to bring along with you, along with your comfortable sneakers. Here, it comes in a plethora of colors, nice and comfortable. Give yourself enough room in these for a chunky pair of socks. You've got your black pants that I've already shown you. And this sweater is a lightweight acrylic sweater for maybe those days when you don't need something as warm. And the sweater on the right is a cashmere sweater. Same outfit, one cashmere sweater, one acrylic sweater. I'll leave some layering pieces listed below. Well, there you go. Just some ideas for you. Of everything that I have shown you, I will leave several options down in the description box. Maybe you don't like that color. Maybe you would prefer something a little shorter or longer or whatever. I'm going to leave you different options from different retailers down in the description box for the clothing. The shoes, please run on over to Dream Paris and take advantage of your 30% discount with my coupon code FAVOR at checkout. I'm telling you, these shoes are very, very comfortable. I really, I can't tell you how much I appreciate this company reaching out to me. Again, these are this is a company, shoes I purchased from in the past. So go ahead, run on over to Dream Paris's site and uh, order yourself a few pair of shoes. They'll get here before you know it, gives you a little time to practice wearing them and uh, break them in, get them super duper comfortable. I thank you so much for spending this time with me. I hope that you'll refer back to this video as I try to include things that are in style pretty much all the time, uh, pretty consistent. I will leave several different retailers, several different items listed and linked down for you, linked for you down in the description box so that you have a choice from the items that I have shown you here. And uh, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe before you go. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so we can continue on. You can watch the remainder of the videos in this series. I have a lot of them coming up. Up next will be port day outfits uh, for when you go to the beach. And uh, if that one's already finished, I'll link it right up there for you. And we're gonna have cold weather cruise clothing videos coming up for you as well. As well as what to bring into port, just all sorts of videos on the subject of what you need for a cruise. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you'll subscribe and we will see you next time. Thanks again, Dream Paris. Bye.